In this video, I'll be sharing some information about the mysterious cartoon cat created by Trevor Henderson. I'll be reading from the wiki, so if you want to learn more, go check it out. There's a link in the description. If you want to keep seeing my latest videos, be sure to subscribe. I upload new ones every week. Enjoy. Cartoon Cat The Cartoon Cat is a hostile cryptid and urban legend created by the artist Trevor Henderson. He is a giant cat who resembles a 1930s era cartoon cat, hence the name. Biography The Cartoon Cat started appearing on the internet on August 4th, 2018 when the first image of the creature was posted online. In the picture, Cartoon Cat is seen sitting behind the doors in an abandoned building, staring at the camera. Later, on August 10th, a second photograph was released, showing the full body of the Cartoon Cat, a giant black anthropomorphic cat with an extremely creepy smile and hands covered in white gloves, resembling a 1930s cartoon character. Five days later, on August 15th, a third picture was posted of the cartoon cat, where its head appears to be on the ground with a long neck. Then, on August 22nd, the giant cartoon cat appears to be standing outside another abandoned building with its mouth wide open. As time went by, on September 26th, a very unnerving picture of the creature was released, where the monster is staring directly at the camera, with its teeth out, possibly with the intent to eat its victim. The first four appearances were relatively friendly and non-threatening, unlike this one. A drawing of the cartoon cat appeared on October 10th, where the cat flashes a sinister grin with his bloody teeth, implying that he might have eaten or bitten someone. However, it has never been confirmed to eat or kill people just yet. On this picture, there are black bars with redacted written over them, covering the information all over the image about Cartoon Cat, showing that the sinister info about this being is trying to be hidden from the public. Possible interpretations of the sheet shows information that reveals Cartoon Cat has relations to a show from 1939, is a nocturnal creature, and is incredibly cruel. Presumably, more text reveals that it is extremely horrible. It's often found in a number of abandoned structures, and it may be related to many unsolved disappearances, though the interpretations of the censored text could be different. The creepiest part about the image was the censored description, where presumably it either states that Cartoon Cat is the most monstrous of all the cartoon characters to ever be released to the public, or even that Cartoon Cat is the most evil of all Henderson's monsters. However, another one of Trevor's creations, the man with the upside down face, was shown to be much worse than Cartoon Cat, with a clearer moral agency and more heinous actions while Cartoon Cat only attacks and or kidnaps people when they are in slash around his lair. And if his backstory of being an abandoned 1930s cartoon is true, he attacks people for revenge. The man with the upside down face affects people for his own sickening pleasure, feeding off the negative emotions from those who have had unfortunate tragedies big or small. Further information can be uncovered 
in Trevor's response to people's questions on his Tumblr. In these, Trevor states Cartoon Cat is the most dangerous monster in his collection, obviously excluding the giant. He also states Cartoon Cat is so dangerous, other monsters avoid the dirt mall it sometimes resides in, if they know what's good for them. When asked why is he so dangerous, Trevor simply responded, unchecked limitations. The latest pictures of Cartoon Cat have revealed much more information on the monster. A photo was posted showing what seems to be an angry looking Cartoon Cat, but brightening the image reveals an unusually thick, almost blocky body with only Cartoon Cat's face and arm being recognisable. His latest image shows his regular look, except for the fact that he has five eyes, while yet another illustration of him displays his face only having two very realistic looking eyes. These images and inconsistencies in Cartoon Cat's appearance and his size, such as his feet repeatedly changing from points into those resembling shoes, and his size that ranges from towering over a stop sign to being only slightly taller than a person, seemingly imply, like an actual rubber hose 30s cartoon, Cartoon Cat can change his form, size and body at will, stretching, adding, changing, and increasing the size of his body parts on a whim, which could explain why he is so dreaded even among other monsters. He doesn't obey the traditional laws of life. He's malleable, acting like a shape-shifting cartoon, except much, much more evil and sinister, possibly hurting and taking other beings for fun. If not, then driven out of anger or some possible hunger instincts. If his backstory is true, then it is possible Cartoon Cat attacks people for revenge. If not, then he might possibly be defending his own lair when people are in or around it. Regardless, Cartoon Cat's personality or crimes have not been made clear and it's likely possible that he is not as bad as the man with the upside down face, despite the fact that Cartoon Cat is very dangerous. Powers and Abilities Cartoon Cat has many abilities that back up his reputation among all as a very dangerous creature. It is implied that he has shape-shifting abilities like a character from a typical 30s rubber hose cartoon, able to change his size and length, presence and absence of his limbs. He's malleable, as Trevor says. Again, this makes him very dangerous, even to other creatures, as he's able to defy the laws of physics, like a cartoon would making him stronger than most other monsters. More information is needed on this creature, but it's clear he is extremely dangerous, and if you value your safety, should be avoided at all costs. If you'd like to see more drawings of some of Trevor Henderson's other monsters, be sure to let me know, you can drop a comment telling me which one you'd like to see next. And if lots of people are interested, I'll be sure to make a future video on it. Let me know how you think this one turned out. It's a bit stylized from his original design, but I thought it'd be fun to put my own spin on it. I hope you like it. A massive thank you to my patrons who have been supporting me and enabling me to keep making videos for everyone. I really appreciate you guys and anyone who chooses to support me over there. It really makes a big difference, so thank you.
I've also got a second art channel where I upload new videos every week. They're lighthearted, silly, kind of funny videos. So if you want something that's not super depressing and creepy like these videos, go check it out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.